Oh. Wait, Tony got on, and I can feel the overweightness. I'm not overweight, dude. <laughs> yeah, somehow you're overweight, so don't, don't ask. Yeah, don't ask anything what you do. Hi, um, we're doing an unboxing and we're going to be looking at an, a point to an air vest. So we're going to see how this is. Okay, uh, open. Two, Canisters. The name is right there on the side of the vest. What are you Uh, air jacket. Air jacket. How does it fit? It feels good. It's a little heavy. Just because of the this. <laughs> yes, to zip it next. You can need to unzip it. There you go. Cool. So when you fall off the horse, I guess you just pull this. Are they under you? I think it's attached to the horse. Right? I it's think you, I'm looking at Max's vest and Eli's vest, and I think you guys have them um, no. switched. Yeah, they switched. Let's see, get close to Max. I think you. Yeah, I think you have on. Try on Max's vest. You like. <coughs> Does it have a size on there? No. Victoria, I got her a medium. I got Max a large, and I got Eli an extra large. It has a tie right here, but no number on it. This thing is actually kind of heavy. Yeah, no, and this one is a side lot heavier smaller. than the other. It's a lot smaller? Yeah, it's still smaller. Ooh, there's a secret pocket in here. That's where you oh, that's better. cool. Make sure okay. And it's a little bit of my case. Oh, I think that's probably where the thing pops out. Well, it's not the most satisfying creation in human history. So I think it already comes in with one. Like I opened it and it has an air, a CO2 canister right here. And then they give you an extra spare one, just in case. What is this? If you ever fall off, hopefully not. That's the CO2 canister. It's the thing that, just because, don't shake it or anything because it can fly off. Yeah. And it hurts. Yeah. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You want me to yank on your vest, see if it works? Yes. What is this thing? Yeah. Will it hurt? I, I don't know. We'll find out once we try it. Yeah, th there's a priming system. Is it what? A, a priming system. Well, yeah, let's the, just see if it Now, do you put on this and it inflates or how does it work? Yeah, it inflates like an airbag. And will this entire canister go to waste once we inflate it? Inflate it? Yeah. Aww. Well, do you want to wait till you fall off a horse to see if it works or not? Very much yes. so. Yes. I <laughs> yeah. No, I, I want to fall off. So I'm guessing with this strap you hold on. I think this one you tie. No, I think this one you told you hold on, and then this is just. Uh, I think you're supposed to attach this to the horse, and when you get launched off the horse, or the horse kicks you off, or you just generally fall off the horse, I think you might pull this and it inflates. 
Because when you follow the horse, it happens fast, so I don't think you're going to have like time to do it. But I'm 100, I, I know for sure there's a prime system. You gotta like, so it can. Yeah. And um, we sadly ran out of storage on our phone due to technical difficulties. And we had recorded it. We had recorded our reaction to it. We had recorded my brother like blowing up. I swear he almost flew. But you guys didn't get experience in that, so that's a bummer. So now I want to be the new test done before this. It pops, it's pretty Is it recording this time? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yes. It's pretty loud. Give it in, Victoria. You're going to hear a lot of pops, so be aware of that. Know your uh, earphones are bad. <laughs> we have been warned. So it instantly does it really fast, and it like lasts a long time. So... And then the, the, I removed the air canister for mine. This it makes a really big hole, so I'm guessing that's why they have you like patch this up because yep. they don't want it flying at you when you fall. Yep. What does it feel like, Max? Uh, well, it feels restricted, so you can't really slouch or anything. So you have to use your posture. Well, you're gonna fall down. And then after you can remove your neck and everything, so you're safe on that. I guess that's why it's pretty deep right here. Uh, when it inflates, it doesn't feel like you're being trapped in, so for our, our claustrophobic peeps, you have nothing to fear about this. And when it blows up in And you're still able to move like your yeah, arms Yeah, you can still move your arms the full way so you can run before you, the horse or something decides to And fall. it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels pretty light, so that's a plus. And then right here in the back, you, it's really long. It's all of the two, and also right here. So you don't injure your back or anything. It gives it space. And as well, it, it did it really fast. And I'm gonna show how to install it, I guess. Well, I'm gonna show you how you remove it. How to remove it real quick. So the canister is gonna be like this. If you do fall, which hopefully doesn't happen. The canister is gonna be like this. Just this part's gonna be right here. So you're gonna turn it. Do it at night, and then you're able to remove it. It's gonna take a little bit of force, but you're gonna be able to do it. And they give you a L wrench, like that you're able to remove this, and you're able to put back the canister, I think. I'm gonna try that right now. See how this goes. So what you do is that you there's an L wrench right here, so this one right here. It goes in like that. Well, you're gonna see it. It goes in like that. So you're gonna take it out. Uh, you're gonna have to remove the canister to do that. So you have to release. So what I already did this. You have to give with the L wrench. You're gonna go on this side. There's a little part right here. I don't know if you can see this, but right there, you have to place the L wrench, and you have to go. Let's see if I can place it in there. Like you have to place it in there. Once you feel it's good in there, you're gonna have to turn it really hard, like that it can lose, and you're able to place the pin. So what I'm doing is to remove, to remove it. The, move this with my finger. You have to do, move that with your finger. And once you're done with that, you can place this part right here again, like that. Like that you don't lose the spring because it does pop out and I need the canister. Like it went in there perfectly. That's how you want it. And you're gonna have to tight in. And right about when you're placing it, it's gonna feel a little bit more tension. So what you can do is that you can grab the L wrench. Thank you. You can grab the L wrench and you grab it like this. And you go like that. Decently tight, you're gonna have to meet. So, once you're done, once you feel, once this is fully come there. Now, 
now that we're getting to the end part, there is this little arrow. And on one of these little lines, there is going to be like a line. And you're going to have to want to find it. And that's what lets you know is that it's perfect. Right here. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is a line right there. It's right there. You want to make sure that's right there near it. And like that, you have installed your canister. Now I got to do the installing part. There you go. Wait. Okay. There you go. I need to pull it. Let's see. I'm sure that's right there. Now, what I probably would recommend is that you would probably remove the air canister once you're done or once you're off the horse, because you don't want it. Um, you don't want it to get caught in something and snapping and you losing an air canister. They do give you two, the one, the way we ordered it, it gives us two air canisters, it gives us the one already in the packet, and it already, get, and it gives us an extra one, a spare one. And my top wrench is right here. And I just didn't tighten it all the way. There we go. So now it's full tight, and now it's all prepared. And then we're gonna open up the second box, so I can do this. Let's see if this one's easier to open up.